My name is Amar Jasani and I am uh, associated with the Anusandhan Trust for the last 20 years. The Anusandhan Trust has instituted this uh, uh, Krishna Raj Memorial uh, event for the last five years. And uh, this, is the this is this trust which has been running uh, uh, three centers since 1994. So I think our uh, oldest center, uh, Sehat, is now, uh, has now completed 15 years. And the Anusandhan Trust has uh, completed uh, 20 years of its existence. It's a really a, a great sense of uh, honor that uh, this is the fifth uh, lecture that uh, under the name of uh, Krishna Raj we are able to organize. I'm sure most of you know Krishna Raj and he doesn't need any uh, introduction here. He was uh, editor of Economic and Political Weekly, one of the foremost uh, journal in social sciences in India. His predecessor, the Economic Weekly, was started in 1949, immediately after the uh, independence. And it uh, made a very big mark on uh, the uh, policy making in India. And the debates uh, in uh, the field of economics and the social sciences that it uh, promoted really made it uh, a, a, a journal that every student of uh, social sciences as well as others need to look at. The Economic and Political Weekly was started in 1966 and uh, Sachin Chaudhary who was uh, also the founder of uh, Economic Weekly was the first editor of the Economic and Political Weekly. Krishna Raj took over in 1969 and for 35 years, he remained uh, the editor. He passed away in 2004. He was one of our great friends. Anusandhan Trust was started by people uh, who were uh, activists in different fields uh, of uh, social movements. And so it was very natural that uh, we had some interaction with him. And every time we met him, we looked up at him saying, thinking that he will provide us guidance, he'll be some very big person. But every time we met him, his uh, way of dealing with us, encouraging us, and uh, the humble way in which he would make his suggestions was such that uh, it encouraged us to take uh, you know, more uh, initiative in the field of development. Most of us were activists and were doing more of critics. And it was his uh, encouragement, along with many other people at that time, like Dr. Riyad Desai and Neera Desai and others who were our personal friends, who all told us that while uh, critiquing institutions and the development policies is one thing, and setting up and running institutions is another. Economic and Political Weekly is an institution in itself. And so somebody who was there for 35 years and who encouraged large number of people to participate in the publication by writing, by, by you know, providing more and more support all over the country and abroad, must have told us this with a lot of thought. And we feel uh, quite gratified now that uh, Anusandhan Trust has survived for 20 years. And it has also set up not one center, but three centers. And all of them have, uh, in their own field, tried to make a contribution in such a manner that uh, it can uh, lead to strengthening of the people's movement. It can also lead to an impact on the development policies of this country. So it was very natural that when he passed away, Anusandhan Trust decided to institute uh, uh, this event. This is the fifth event. The first event uh, was organized at uh, SNDT Women's University, where uh, Dr. Anirudh Krishna has spoken about uh, uh, making and remaking of poverty. And one of the points that he had made was to look at uh, healthcare expenditure as one of the major cause of causing poverty. So we have to look at uh, strategies, not only just to remove poverty, 
but those factors which can create more and more poor in this country. I think that was uh, the beginning uh, of uh, uh, Krishna Raj Memorial event. The second one, and that uh, is also the context of today's meeting, was from Chhattisgarh. Dr. Elina Sen, as you all know, Vinayak Sen, who is uh, our close friend who is in prison today, and uh, he has been, the, along with Elina and uh, other colleagues there, been making a lot of efforts to reach out to the unreached people to provide healthcare services and at the same time be activists in order to you know, protect the democratic rights of the people. And so the second lecture that uh, was organized was from Elina Sen, who talked about the development and the problems in Chhattisgarh and the people's movement there and how it is copying. And here she also talked about the arrests of Eli, uh, Vinayak Sen that had taken place at that time. The third lecture that we had organized was in the form of seminar which was at YMCA. Uh, the second one, uh, Elina Sen's uh, thing uh, was organized in Pune by our uh, Pune Center, Sathi Sehat, while the third one was done by CSCR, which was uh, on clinical trials in India. As you know that uh, research has got commercialized. And uh, this commercialized research with pharmaceutical companies, you know, setting up large number of clinical trials through the contract research organization was a very big area of concern and so a, a day long uh, uh, workshop and seminar were organized uh, on that. The fourth one was done here only by the Sehat. As you all know, I'm sure many of you had participated there and uh, that fourth lecture was on the issue of uh, inequities in healthcare and development by uh, Professor Geeta Sen from the IIM Bangalore. So these four preceding uh, uh, events have set a tone and uh, keeping that in mind, this is the fifth one uh, that we have planned, which is on the topic that is hotly debated in this country, that is universal access to healthcare services. That when India is growing so fast, we all know about the, you know, the talk about uh, India becoming a big economic power, but at the same time, most of the people have no access to the healthcare services or it is so costly that even middle class finds it extremely difficult to get a good uh, reasonable access to it. So this is the area which is also on the big agenda of the government now with a committee appointed by the government of India to look into this issue. So this is the one that uh, we will be organizing, we'll be talking about and uh, there will be two uh, presentations on the subject and the discussion who will uh, uh, set a tone so that uh, all of you can participate.